everybody? JC here today from Fitness Gamers, and I want to talk about the sets in MLB The Show 23. So a lot of people may have questions on what do the sets mean? What does the core mean? Well, if you look at each of these cards that I'm showing you in front of me right now, they have a tag that says core, like the Sammy Sosa and the Derek Jeter you see here in the Mark McGuire, and also the Shoh Shohei Otani, the Live Series. But then you have some here, like the WBC card. You see the Cattell Marte card, the Mike Trout card here. They have a set one tag on them. So what could this possibly mean? It's very easy to explain. You notice here the Aaron Judge, the Yankees team captain card. Some things are very easy to explain here. And what what is it exactly? So if you look at details here, look at these cards here. They have the set one tag. If you look here. What are the seasons in Diamond Dynasty? The seasons are going to stretch out a bit longer than before now. As you see, it goes from March 23rd to May 12th. We're going to be in Season 1. Season 1, you're going to be able to use the core set and set 1. Then we have Season 2, May 12th, all the way into July 7th. And how does this work? In Season 2, you could use the core set, the set 1 set, and set 2 cards. Now we go to Season 3, and this is when the set 1 set will expire, and you will no longer be able to use the cards you see here or any card that has a set one tag on top you will be able to use set two and set three same thing will go on for set for season four probably season four we're going to like some postseason cards and we're going to be able to use set three and set four for season four and the core set obviously will always be available now i do not know if this will be available for events if events is going to bypass the sets and then all i know is that the set one set two this is how it works there is going to be a wild card player slot which will allow you to add a player from any season to your squad it says one right now i'll add a player allow a player from any season set to your season eligible squad so you'll be able to have one set season one guy there maybe set two as well when it comes to set three and set four but we have to cross that bridge when we get there for the most part we get the gist of it as of now it is not a waste to get the set one cards because someone like oh but you can't use those no 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 no. you could use those and you can use those for the majority of the game the lifespan of the game the halfway point of the game you're going to be able to use set one still it's just that it's going to change as it adapts why are they doing this because they want to make things fresh and like they say here they keep it fresh and uh, it does keep it new so and that also gives us the opportunity to get more cards these sets allow us to get more cards and that's what we always want that's what we've always really complained for is like can we get more cards in diamond dynasty so that's pretty much what the sets mean i wanted to break it down to keep it short and sweet that's what it is and that's how this works any questions feel free to comment below in this video and i'll try to answer them to the best of my ability make sure you join our discord we'll have an mlb the show channel there and i'll also try to respond to questions there as well i hope i really covered this to the most of my ability too i mean we kept it short and sweet squad requirements it says it there is going to tell you what it requires season one eligible stuff so it's pretty much self-explanatory in terms of how does this work so just to go over it real quick set one says it here how long you'll be able to use it for set two says it here as well set three we could it's safe to assume there's going to be four seasons maybe five they'll have a five after the postseason ends so you have the you know tops finest or whatever they call it or that might be the show's finest so um that's what it is that's how it is exactly so i'm pretty much done that was a short and sweet one sometimes we don't got to be talking for like 30 minutes we just got to go straight to the point that's what i do so i hope you all enjoyed this video remember that god is good god is real and miracles do happen i am a living proof of those miracles remember that god is roaring and alive like a lion remember hulk hogan's mantra of say your prayers and eat your vitamins brother and i'm also throwing in sister now and then of course john cena's mantra of never give up and you too will be great someday in whatever it is that you decide to do. So for the most part, that's the sets. I hope that I had it covered. Hope that I, you know, made it easier for you all to understand. Don't be overwhelmed. All we got to do is just take our time and look over things. Once we do that, it's good. I personally wish the sets would be available throughout the whole game. But that could be different for, for uh, what, what you call this. It could be different for... The Battle Royale, it could be different for events. Who knows who's to say. Maybe not Battle Royale, because Battle Royale, I think they're emphasizing on the set cards for the season. So, uh, But yes, and this is the point of the video where I say good night, goodbye, good afternoon, good evening. We're logging out, baby. Let's cue the static. God bless you all. Brush your teeth, wash your hands, clean your ass. All right, now you can cue the static. Let's go.